This is code.org. Let's see what we have. Convert the code in the program to use an array list instead of a 1D array. Let's see here. Ah, yeah. So this is a 1D array, and it wants us to use an array list. So what we're going to need to do is we know how to declare an array list at this point, right? Array list. Keep in mind, guys, though, this I can't do. We cannot use this is called a primitive data type. That is not available for an array list. An array list does not allow primitives. We're going to use double instead with a capital D, and that's really important. The capital D is the double class, and it's the non-primitive type. Now, I'll just call mine, I guess I'll call it the same, temperatures, right? And now I'm going to do equals new array list double again. And boom. All right. So the frustrating thing about this is this is a really nice way just to get all of this, these numbers in here. Now, instead, it wants us to convert the code in the program to use an array list. So instead of copying and pasting these, we already have a for loop right here. And because of that, I'm going to go ahead and do, <laughs> uh, let me just do, oh, we can't have it be named the same if I'm going to leave this. So I'm going to call this temps. I don't have to leave this, I guess. I could just replace it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. And then I'll show you another temps dot add temps dot add temperatures. So whatever's at that index of temperatures, boom. And then I'll go ahead and print it here. And then down here, I'm just going to check what's in here while we're doing this. Let's see what we got if I broke something. And this is going to be obviously what is in temps. So we all populating it successfully. Now, if I wanted to print it on its own, I could just do this, copy this if I really wanted to, um, or I could do an advanced for loop. I could also just do uh, temps as we're uh, as we're looping through it. I could and populating it. I could do temps dot get um, index because each time we're going to have that index. That will also work fine. Now, there's a few different routes to doing this, like I stated. If you don't want to leave temps, what you would need to do then is individually do, or temperatures, you would have to do, and so on and so forth. And then once you had those added, you could print it out like normal. But cool. We have, uh, I'll keep going, I guess. Now I'm just going to eliminate this. And now I've populated it manually and I can just do this. Except now since temperatures in array list, we need to use length like so. No, we need to use size. And then we're going to also need to change this up. Temperatures dot get bam. So there's a few ways to go about it depending on how you read it. Let's see what it broke. Oh, right. I need to change these all over. Bam. But there we go, full conversion. Cool. Onward.